Okay, we're back. Another round of some dancing. Oh, I gotta turn myself around so I can see what I'm doing. Hang on, hang on, chill out. Okay, here we go. All right, so what we're gonna do today, we'll do some tango, some ballroom tango. Now I've made a little sequence that I put together. Uh, it's a little bit of a slowed down sequence so you can practice the technique. You're gonna notice we're gonna be doing one move pretty much throughout the whole entire sequence while adding certain little variables to it to spice it up or to make it different. Um, and then we're just gonna do it together with some music afterwards, have a little fun with it. Uh, we're gonna be working on fans in particular. Fans are a very big part of tango. Uh, if you've never done fans before, I'll show you roughly how to do them. Take your time with it. Watch the video as many times as you need to. Um, and we'll get through this together. It'll be fun. So you're gonna be doing fans pretty much the whole time. You're gonna get a nice little lower ab workout the more you give your twist. Uh, make sure that you're not wearing, uh, you know, Make sure that you're at least wearing socks or something you can turn a little bit in. You don't have to be turning a whole lot, so don't, uh, don't overdo it. We're just going to jump right in, see how you guys like it, and we'll go from there, okay? So, backing up into my zone of dance. So we're going to be doing a fan, and uh, you guys can mirror me uh, if that makes you feel better. So if I take a step across myself with my right foot, you can certainly take a step across yourself with your left foot. That way you can see me the whole time. If it makes more sense for you to step on your left foot as I step on mine, that's totally fine. Do that too. Whatever works best for you, okay? Um, so we're going to be doing what's called a fan, and a fan is very exciting movement. And so essentially what a fan is, is when you step across yourself like this, right? Now there's different ways to do this, but for now we're going to keep it nice and simple. And then what's going to happen is as we put all of our weight, I'm going to exaggerate this. I'm going to pick up my back foot so you can see I'm standing on my left foot or my right foot depending on what side you're doing. And as you do that, you're going to twist your hips until your foot turns a little bit, maybe like on a bit of an angle. You don't want to turn completely to a new wall. It's a very common uh, mistake that people make. Uh, you don't have to turn this far. I want you to be watching the, 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 the video the whole time. Stepping across yourself and then twisting your hips a little. Step, stepping across yourself and twisting your hips a little. You're going to notice that your feet are going a little bit of a different direction from your head. And that's okay. So all that's happening is I'm giving myself like a little twist. Ever done the chubby checker twist? You want some of that in there, feel free to do that along with me if you want. Good lower ab workout. Right? So when I step across myself, I'm giving myself a little, little twist. You're going to notice that my legs, my lower legs, are getting close together for a second as I twist. And I'm going to let the momentum take me just a little bit. Fans are not that hard if you don't make them hard. Right? So you just step, do a little twist, and notice all my weight still over my front leg. Step, twist, step, twist your hips. You're wearing a belt buckle, or, or or everybody's wearing a belly button. I hope you can turn your belly button. Uh, that sometimes helps. So as you step, you're gonna turn your belly button just a little bit to help yourself turn. Then step and turn your belly button. That often helps out. Get your core involved a little, right? It doesn't have to be a whole lot. Notice right now I'm just doing little baby ones. As you get more into it, you can turn a little bit more if you like. But notice that they're all fine. They're all correct. I'm actually doing this in sneakers. Uh, so you, as you can see, if you give yourself some time, you can know how to do this and pretty much anything. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these in my sneakers just to show that you don't really need your dance shoes to do some of this stuff. It is easier, but I think sometimes just wearing your normal shoes will help you better with balance and traction. Just to keep your knees bent nice and flexed, okay? So, as part of our sequence, we're just gonna do this. Now, we're gonna do this to a slower count. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step across ourselves. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, now fans usually happen a little bit quicker, but this is about the technique of it and the workout of it, not so much about doing it fast right now. Right, so again, or you can count this slow, 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 slow. Right, and a slow is just a count of two, so I'm gonna be mixing and matching between the counts. So this is slow, 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 slow. Slow. And notice right now as I'm doing this, I want you to keep your gaze forward at the video. We're going to turn our heads here in a second as part of another part of the sequence. But for right now, I just want you to look forward so you can focus on how it feels. Just to turn your hips and your belly button without turning your head. Right? So because we want to do that second. So, one more time and I'll show you what the next piece is. So we're going to step across ourselves. We're going to back up a little bit here. Step across ourselves. We're going to go one, twist, one, twist, one, twist. One, and we'll count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or slow, 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 slow. Okay? We're going to be pretty much doing that action throughout this whole entire sequence. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to do another set of them. And we're going to be doing uh, a little bit of a head turn. So what that means is when we go one, two, we turn our head, three, four, we're going to turn our head after we twist our body. So it's going to look like this. Step, twist, look. Step, twist, look. Step, twist, look. And step, twist, look. And notice as I'm turning my head, I'm not whipping it all the way over here or all the way over here right now. I'm not, if you whip your head, you're going to overturn and you're going to line up to a new wall. And we don't want that. Right? Turning your head doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you can, you can still look to that new wall without squaring off to the wall. Right? Angles are better. So you can maybe find the corner of the wall or maybe like a picture hanging over there. Right? And then turn your head this way. So notice as I'm turning my head, I'm not overturning. Now you could, if you have control enough, to not overturn. But it's not necessary. If anything, if you want, like I'm doing now, you can keep your arms out in front of you as like little guide guardrails or guide rails. So you can pretty much follow the line your hand's making. One, twist, follow that hand. One, twist. As long as you keep your hands in front of you, you think of that like your frame, right? That's a good way to get practice to give yourself an idea about where you're supposed to step. Okay, so then we just turn our head. So we go one, turn our head this way. One, turn our head this way. One, turn our head this way. And one, turn our head this way. Right? So that, you don't have to do the arms of it if you don't want to, it's just a way to practice. So, from the top, what we're going to be doing then is we're going to be doing one set where we're just looking right down the barrel of the, of the camera or of the computer or the phone or whatever you're watch, watching on. So we're going to go one and turn. One and turn. One and turn. One and turn. Then we're going to go one and turn the head. One and turn the head. One and turn the head. And one and turn the head. Okay? So, again, feel free to go back if you need to. I'm going to keep this bad boy moving. The last bit, there's just only three parts. We're going to do a little leg style, a little, little foot placement or foot pointing just to kind of give ourselves a little something extra. So then what we're going to do we're going to step across ourselves, do a, a what? We're going to do a fan. We're going to do a fan. One turn, and we're going to, we're going to do a point, then a point. Then we're going to step across ourselves, do another fan, and then a point, and a point. Right? So we're doing an action where we're pointing our feet back and forth, and point, and point. Right? Now, if this feels kind of stiff, you don't actually have to draw a big circle in front of you. I'm just bending my leg and pointing and bending my leg and pointing, right? Just kind of pointing back and forth is what that feels like. You can practice it on the other side just to kind of get used to it. And notice as you do it, your legs kind of cross. That's what you want. So if you find that you're overturning and you're kind of pointing straight, your legs aren't crossed anymore, right? You're actually just forward where I'm pretty much just doing this, right? So I want to be able to be on this angle so I can point across, point across, where I got these nice lines, is what we like to call them, right? And that way, you can do dumb stuff like that. Okay, so, once more, we go one, we turn, we point, and point. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Make sense? So, from the top then, again, feel free to go back. If you're lost, uh, watch the video again. But I'm just going to steamroll from the top all the way to the bottom and put on a song, and we're going to have fun with this bad boy, okay? So, here we go. Five, six, from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we turn the head. One, two, turn the head. One, two, Turn the head. One, two. Turn the head. One, two. Now we swivel and point. One, two, three, four. Point and point. One, two, three, four. Point and point. And again. One, two, three, four. Point and point. Almost fell. One, two, three, four. Point and point. I'm going to leave that in because I thought it was funny. I leaned too. I tried to look at the camera too quickly, and that's what you get for not paying attention to where you're going, boys and girls. Is you almost fall. And embarrass yourself on the internet. Okay, so I'm gonna go put a song on, see what happens, okay? Nice and simple. Any questions? No? We're good? Alright, right on. Okay, do a little tango, a little royalty free tango. Okay, so just take your time with it, we're gonna do this together. 
together. Pause if you need to. Ready? Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to turn our head. One, two, turn the head. One, two, turn the head. One, two, turn the head. One, two. Now we're going to do the points. One, two, three, four, point, and point. One, two, three, four, point, and point. One, two, three, four, point, and point. One, two, three, four. We're going to do it again. Ready? One, two, look this way. One, two. One, two. One, two. Keep going. One, two, turn the head. 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 Number four. One, two, three, four. Point and point. One, two, three, four. Point and point. One, two, three, four. Point and point. One, two, three, four. Point. Back to the top. One, two, and look. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Now we're gonna turn the head. One, two, then look. One, two, then look. One, two, then look. One, two, then look. So we're gonna go on point. Two, three, four, point, point. One, two, three, four, point, and point. Keep going. One, two, three, four, point, and point. One, two, three, four. All right, one more set. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn the head. Da 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 da. Points coming. One, two, three, four, point, point. One, two, three, four, point, point. Slow, slow, point, point. Slow, slow, point, point. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So that was a little fanning basic for you, uh, as I mentioned. Fans or flares, as sometimes they're called, depending on how you do them, uh, are very important to the dance of tango. Uh, they're never going away. They're around pretty much forever. Uh, so get comfortable with them. Get good at them. Um, work on them. Take your time with them. Now, I will say that that was a slowed down version. Usually, fans will be a little faster. So I'll show you a quick example of that. So earlier, we were doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or slow, slow slow, slow. However, when usually you do these in actual quick succession or in an actual dance, they will be faster. So you only get two beats to do the whole thing. So it'll be slow, slow, right? So it'll be quicker. Or if you count them numerically, one, two, three, four, as opposed to one, two, three, four. So you pretty much cut the time in half so you have a more dynamic movement. Now, I made this, this action a little bit slower so we could work on them, get comfortable with them. Uh, I certainly hope that you feel a little bit of energy that you've expelled. Notice that you don't have to turn your whole head a lot. A lot of people also fake fans and they don't really turn themselves, right? But you want, you want to be able to fill a twist. So you don't want to just point your feet. Fans are not about pointing your feet, it's about twisting your hips, right? Twisting your hips and your head opposite of where your body is going. Pretty exciting technique. So I hope that that was helpful for you. I hope that you liked it. Uh, let me know what you think. It's important for me to know kind of what kind of classes you guys enjoy, what more you want. I'm trying to keep the format a little bit shorter so you guys can watch them and repeat them better. Um, so let me know if you like this. So again, that was tango, flares with some head turning, with some leg pointing. Um, and as always, I hope that you're being safe out there. I miss everyone. If you're new to this, welcome. I hope that was educational for you. Go at your own pace. Slow it down if you have to. Whatever it is that you need to get through it and to feel some semblance of normal and comfortable here in this crazy world that we live in right now. So that's it for today. Um, be safe out there. Take care of yourself and each other. It's important. It's, it can be a little lonely right now. Don't go crazy. There's more coming. I'm here for you. It's going to be good. Pyaw!